deuces pie. The deuces, they're what you get off the party with a wedding Thank you, John, and hello, everyone. It is now time for my next show of card charts, Big John's for the PC. My returning champion is Ben S7-1287 with a measly $200 in his pocket. And if you saw the last game, Ben was going for a clean sweep in the money cards, but unfortunately, he busted on the big bet. And this time, he is elected to go head-to-head -head against Alex Hool. Um. And, and we both know how to play, and we have my same Skype guests, and Aubrey, Mikey, Ben, JBD, Patrick, and Alex, of course. And then let's get to the game. First question always goes to the champion, and in this case, it is Ben. Ben, we asked 100 people. If Walter Cronkite announced he rode in a flying saucer, would you believe it? How many of these hundred people said yes, they would believe if Walter Cronkite announced he rode in a flying saucer? I would say about 45 of them. 45 of 100 people said they believe if Walter Cronkite announced he rode, they believe Walter Cronkite if he announced that he rode in a flying saucer. Uh, Alex, higher or lower than 45? Mm hmm. I'm going to have to say lower. Go on lower. If it is lower, Alex, you will play your cards. Ben, if it is 45 or higher, you will play yours. The actual number of these people will believe Walter Cronkite if he said he, and he wrote in a space craft is 25. It is high. It is lower, not higher. Alex, your base card is a 9. Change it, please. All right, when you win the question, you can change the base card. The 9 becomes... Another nine. Uh, I'll go lower. Lower than a nine? It is a six. Six. Uh, I'll go higher. Taking a chance. Higher than a six? It is a jack. Lower than a jack? Oh no, an ace. Ben, you have to play this base card. You do not win the question. It is a 10. Lower than a 10? Oh, no. A king. Alex, next question goes to you. Alex, we asked 100 single women in their 30s. If you were in your 20s, would you accept a marriage proposal this time around? How many of these hundred single women in their 30s said yes, they would accept a marriage proposal if they were in their 20s again? Uh, oh, oh, gosh. Uh, I think that's going to be like a high number, I think. I'm going to say about 75. 75 of 100 single women in their 30s said that if they were in their 20s, they would accept a marriage proposal this time around. Uh, ben, higher or lower than 75? Higher. Going higher. The actual number of these single women in their 30s who accept a marriage proposal if they're in their 20s again is 22. It is lower, not higher. Alex, you have that 9. I don't want that 9 changed. Alright, when you win the question, you can change the base card. The 9 becomes... An ace! Lower. Lower than an ace. It is a five. A five? It's a five. Uh, uh, higher. Higher than a five. It is a ten. A three. Freezing on the ten, not giving Ben a chance of the cards. Third question goes to you, Ben. Ben, we found 100 women who have been divorced three times. And we asked them, are you paying alimony to all three of your ex-wives? How many of these 100 women who are, or 100 men who, who are divorced three times said yes, they are paying alimony to all three ex-wives? Oh my God. Was this Mario Povich? <laughs> Damn it. 
and more flippage. Come on, down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my man. Um, what is it? Fuck oh, yeah. Um, ah, this is a good one. Um, let's go with 28. 28 of 100 men divorced three times, so they're paying alimony to all three exes. Alex, higher or lower than 28? I'm going to say just a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Yes, the number of these men divorced three times for paying alimony to all three ex-wives is... Two! It is much lower! Only two people! Wow. Only two of these triple divorced men. Ben, you have that 10... Change. And you win the question, you can change the base card. The 10 becomes an 8. 7 plus 1. Oh, bad move. Lower. Lower than an 8? No. Oh, no. A 10. Alex, you have to play your 10. Lower. Lower than a 10? No. Oh, no. It's a king. This is the fourth and final question. Someone must win on this play of the cards. And that question goes to Alex. Alex, our surveyor, went to Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania, where he surveyed 100 people. And we asked them, during the nuclear reactor crisis, did the power company try to cover up the facts? How many of these 100 people near Three Mile Island said, yes, the power company did try to cover up the facts during the nuclear reactor crisis? Hmm. Every uh, oh. I, I think uh, I say about like forty-seven. Forty-seven of a hundred people near Three Mile Island, PA, said the power company tried to cover up the facts during the nuclear reactor crisis. Ben, higher or lower than forty-seven? Uh. Higher. Going higher. You asked the number of these people during near three miles said the power company tried to cover up the fact is 92. It is much higher. Almost double. Now, Ben, here's the situation. You have a base card of an 8, 7 plus 1. You need four cards to win game number one. Alex, with a base card of a 10, needs only two cards. You can play the 8 or change it, or you can pass to Alex and I'll have to play off the 10. Pass. He's going to pass it to you, Alex. Alex, you have to play the 10. If you if you make it through two cards, you take game number one. And if you goof, Ben takes the first game. All right. Off the lower. Lower than a 10? It is a 6. Uh, higher. For the first game, higher. Yes, an 8. Game number one goes to Alex Hool. Ben, this is make or break for you. Uh, and let's go to round two now. And the first question of round two goes to Ben. Alright. Ben, we asked 100 single women. Did you take out a sport that you hated just to meet a man? How many of these single women said yes, they have taken a, they took out a sport they hated just to meet a man? One. Six one. Six one. Sixty one of hundred single women said they've taken out a sport they have taken out a sport they hated just to meet a man. Alex higher or lower than sixty one? Uh, I'll go lower. Go on lower. The actual number of these single women who took out a sport they hate just to meet a man is seventeen. It is much lower. Alex, your base card is a 7. Change it, please. When you win the question, you can change the base card. The 7 becomes... A queen. Oh, okay. Come on. Lower. Lower than a queen. Oh, oh no. It's a king. Oh. Ben, you have to play this base card. It's an ace. No. Lower than an ace. 
Uh, it is a 10. Uh, yeah. Did you say lower? Yeah. Lower than a 10? No. Oh no, another 10. Alex, next question goes to you. Yep. Alex, we asked 100 dentists. Did you drill the wrong tooth by mistake? How many of these hundred dentists said yes, they have drilled the wrong tooth by mistake? <laughs> uh, 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 I wouldn't say a whole lot. I'm going to guess, say, 16. Uh, one six, sir. A 1-5, okay. 15 of 100 dentists said they drilled the wrong tooth by mistake. Ben, higher or lower than 15? Higher. Going higher. The actual, the actual number of these dentists who accidentally drilled the wrong tooth is? 25. It is much, it is higher. And Ben, you have your ace. Lower. Lower than an ace. It is a queen. Lower than a queen? No. Oh no, it's another ace. Alex, you have to play your queen. Lower. Lower than a queen? It is a nine. I'm gonna freeze on there. Freezing on the nine, not giving Ben. Freezing on the nine, putting you three cards away from game number two. And uh, the question goes to. Uh, goes to Ben. What percentage of all, this is a trivia question, what percentage of all the people in New York City had their apartment burglarized? Thirty-five. Ben says that thirty-five percent of all people in New York City had their apartments burglarized. Alex, higher or lower than thirty-five? Go on higher. The actual number of these, the actual percentage of people in New York City have their apartment burglarized is seven. It is lower, not higher. Only seven percent. Ben, you have your ace. No. Lower than an ace? No. Oh no, another ace. Alex, you have to play your nine. Lower. Lower than a nine? Oh no, it's a jack. This is the fourth and final question. Someone must win on this play of the cards. And that question goes to you, Alex. Alex, we asked 100 married young women with children. And we asked them, Would you call your mother for advice if your baby cried in the middle of the night? How many of these married young women with children said yes, they would call their... They did call their mom for advice if their baby cried in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, that's got to be like somewhere in the middle, I think. I'm going to say about 53. Five, three. 53 of 100 married young women with children said they called their mom for advice if their baby cried in the middle of the night. Ben, higher or lower than 53? Lower. Go on lower. The actual number of these married young women with children said they will call their mom in the middle of the night is... 30. It is lower indeed. Alright, here's the situation. Ben, you won the question. You can play the ace or change it. You need four cards for the second game, and you need this game to take Alex to a third game. Alex, with a base card of a nine, needs only three cards, but he cannot change the card because you won the question, Ben. What's it going to be? Uh. He's going to pass it to Alex. Now, Alex, you have to play the nine. If you goof, then Ben and you will go to a third game. Lower. Lower than a nine? Oh no, a jack, and Ben takes game number two. In this round, only three cards will be dealt out. First, and the winner gets to go on to play for $32,000. Question goes to Ben. Oh boy. Ben, we asked 100 single women. Would you be angry if your boyfriend laughed at you the first time he saw you without makeup? 
How many of these hundred single women said yes, they would be angry with their boyfriend if he laughed at her the first time he saw her without makeup? <laughs> I am not going to go with that with that makeup joke. <laughs> Who did that? Okay. Uh, um, well, just have you ever dated? I used to date. Uh, I used to date. Oh. I used to date. Oh. I used to date. 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 I but the main subject is I would have to say 41 of them. 41 of 100 single women said they'd be angry if their boyfriend laughed at her the first time he saw her without makeup. Alex, higher or lower than 41? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm going to have to say just a, a little bit higher. A little bit higher. The actual number of these single women who said they'd be mad at their boyfriend if, she, if he laughed at her is... 39! It is lower, not higher. Ben, your base card is a 5. Higher. Higher than a 5. No. Oh no! Another 5. Alex, you have to play the base card. It's a 9. Lower. Lower than a 9? It is a 6. Uh, what's that, Alex? I said higher. For the championship, higher! Yes, the queen! So, Alex Poole is the new champion. Ben, you're leaving us with 200 bucks, but we will bring you back for another episode. And you're leaving with $200. And I should also mention that my last champion, Jay Van Diesel, actually lost for $49,000. Since he got a hundred bucks for winning the game. For winning one of the games. And here we are at the money cards with Alex Hool once again. And Alex, I'm sure you know how to play. So let's skip all of that. Change the, change the card one time per line if you want to. For, and here's two hundred dollars. For two hundred dollars, Alex, you start off with an ace. All of it look for. Two hundred dollars. Lower than an ace. It is a six. Four hundred dollars and a six. I'd like to change that card. All right, with one, two, or three. Number two. All right, let's see if we can make a good change here. Card number two is a nine. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much for this one. I'm gonna say one hundred lower. One hundred dollars. Lower than a nine? It is an eight. Seven plus one, you have five hundred dollars and an eight. Okay, uh, one hundred lower. Again, hundred dollars. Lower than an eight? Oh no, it's a jack. You're back down to four hundred, but we'll move you to the second row. You have that jack. Give you an additional four hundred dollars, so you have eight hundred dollars and a jack. All right, I'm gonna go one hundred lower. Five hundred dollars lower than a jack? Oh no, a queen! You're down to three hundred dollars. All lower. All three hundred dollars lower than a queen. It is a six. Six hundred dollars and a six. Now you can change it. You are on a new row. Change, change the card, please. Okay, with one or three. Number one. All right, let's see if you can make a good change this time. The six becomes an eight. Seven plus one. One hundred higher. One hundred dollars higher than an eight. It is a 10. Alex, you're at the big bet. You're at $700. You must bet at least $350. Do you want that 10? No, I'm changing. All right, this is the last card, card number three. Let's see if we make a good change. The 10 is now a deuce. 
Oh boy. It's a deuce. All of it higher. Come on, for fourteen hundred dollars, is this higher? Yes, the nine. And you're now at the sixteen hundred, but you also have one chance at the jackpot. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. You'll win twenty thousand dollars if you find the card with the dollar sign. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Well, I'll guess at this. I'm going to guess number five. All right, let's see if it's there. Is the dollar sign behind five? It is not. It was behind two once again. Wow. So our job probably worth $30,000, and Alex will take on a new opponent next time. So long, everyone. <laughs>